Imagine if, instead of having to measure the forest here, one tree at a time, you could instead do it from space, covering vast areas of canopy much faster than doing it on the ground. NASA scientists are preparing to do just that with a new space mission called Designy LiDAR. So, why is this so important? The Earth's climate is warming rapidly, and a rise in greenhouse gases is a primary cause. Half of human carbon emissions are reabsorbed by ecosystems, like forests. To understand the impact on the Earth's climate, we need to know how much carbon is contained in forests and how much that amount changes. Data captured by the LiDAR instrument on Destiny will be used to understand the Earth's carbon cycle and improve predictions of carbon dioxide levels. This will give us insight into climate change and its consequences, allowing us to make better decisions about how to fight it. So how does Desini monitor the Earth's vegetation canopy? Let's take a look at a beam of sunlight. Some of the light reflects off the top of the trees, and some of it penetrates the canopy, reflecting either off the ground or the smaller trees. Similar to a beam of sunlight, Desini's LiDAR instrument will send laser light pulses down to Earth, recording the light that is reflected back into the instrument. The time difference in the reflected light generates data that scientists will use to build a three-dimensional image of the forest height and density. Destiny will make billions of measurements that will be used to produce maps of very accurate information on the amount of carbon stored in forests and the character of the forest habitat. Now the big question is, how does that affect us on Earth? Well, the Earth can reabsorb carbon emissions, which is good, but with climate change and deforestation, scientists aren't sure how much longer the Earth will be able to do that. This is important. With Destiny, scientists will be able to understand how well the Earth's carbon cycle is functioning and whether the Earth can still reabsorb carbon from the atmosphere and it'll be able to do it a lot quicker than one tree at a time.